love myself hello welcome <clears throat> oh I did not bring my water I need my water I hope that you are being hydrated today, hydrating that body. Loving yourself. <clears throat> Sending love to yourself. Mm. How are you feeling today? Ta -da. Um, just take the time to just feel into how you're feeling. What are we on Tuesday? Good old Tuesday. Feel into how you're feeling. Invite a deep breath into your body. I'm going to grab my water and I will be back in two seconds. <laughs> I've returned. <laughs> See, it wasn't that long. What have you come up with? How are you feeling in this energy and this, this time? Have you transcended time? If you've gotten rid of the obsession of tracking time, is it possible? I have. A week from now, I am going to be traveling in a completely different country and it's gonna be just so wonderful. And thinking about the alignment of time, it's like, what even, <laughs> what even is time besides to align us? Yes, we need alignment, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, but sometimes it's great to just feel into the humanness of who you are. Feel into your body and just be without wondering what time it was. I remember my very first time at Transcendence was um, getting rid of the idea that because it was Friday that I had to do something. It's like, today's Friday, I have to do something. And that puts so much pressure on my life every single week and my relationship as well to just have to do something every Friday. So I got rid of that and life became more free because it's like, once you get rid of what you think a day is supposed to be about, especially Monday, I've always been a Monday advocate. <laughs> enjoy your Mondays pump power into your Mondays and don't just speak into existence the fact and the meaning that your Monday is going to be shitty like how how do you think that would help <laughs> so just allowing every day to flow with each and every day and as every day is you're going to just feel in a more home state every time and i have a root chakra um, frequency playing in the background because of this very thing it's like we grasp for this security this grounding this feeling of being okay when really that feeling of being okay is consistently and always within all that we have to do is ground our souls ground our body and ground who we are how we are and what we have going forward also are you in alignment with your spirit team do you let them know that you are aware of them or that you could possibly use their help sometimes you know raise your hand let them know that you you see them and you're ready for this guidance oh my goodness it gets so helpful <laughs> so really cool um so with that i am gonna allow i'm going to allow today to be led by the cards because that's what i'm feeling aligned to um 
yesterday when I did it, I was just like, this, I, I, there was just something that flowed and that was just so magical and beautiful and powerful and I'm glad to share it with you. <laughs> I'm so glad to share it with you. Let's breathe, let's breathe this moment. Let us breathe. <laughs> My mornings uh, this past month have been spent listening to the songs that I have recorded on my phone. Um, they're just such wonderful tunes and I don't know the lyrics to them yet. So I find that they're in my head over and over and over. And I'm like, oh my goodness. It's been so great. <laughs> Feel it lift each and every part of your your vessel. See if you can feel yourself just expand when you take a deep breath. Just getting bigger and bigger. And then just letting it all out, collapsing, allowing yourself to just be free. Free from structure free from anything you think you are supposed to be doing right now you are exactly where you need to be mm, where you need to be something i've been doing more practice of lately is holding my breath holding the breath in my lungs allowing my lungs to stay in that expanded state so it can feel alive feel that it is alive and i do that for as long as possible and then just truly truly contract and let it all out while intentionally releasing whatever it is in my mind that i would like to release in that moment A collective message always is that we are magical as human beings. And we must bring light to that. By yourself even. Begin by yourself when no one's watching. Speak out loud and don't judge the things that you hear. That's the best way to get to your thoughts because as you are thinking and as you are in here, and you're sitting and you're in your thoughts and your thoughts conjure up and they build and they build and they build and you stand above it and you judge them you judge them all you say no that's not me that's not how i am that's not what i want that's not what i want to say when really you are to detach yourself from all of this okay you are not to be here allow your thoughts to be out while well, you become the observer you don't know every single thing, beautiful soul. And sometimes the thoughts that come to you are messages from the universe, messages from your ancestors, messages from yourself, your higher self that you don't need a human filter to get to those messages. So let's just try to bring mindfulness to avoiding that human filter, the human mind filter of our messages. Silence, beautiful soul. <laughs> Listen to your thoughts. Though in the way that we were speaking of it before, speak out loud, just talk out loud without saying, without judging your thoughts see what you hear i surprise myself all the time i'm surprising myself right now i don't practice i just speak and all of us get a message <laughs> it's just so beautiful to surrender <sighs> i can hear the hummingbirds outside just <laughs> Hmm. 
Deep breaths. Take this moment to just see what messages your body has for you. that call to you, just allow them to happen. judgment Back to the breath, deep breath.
Taking a deep breath. So for the palms, I gather my palms together to ground the energy, to center the energy. These are very powerful energy centers. <laughs> so I like to just run it down my body sometimes. How is your thought observing? I hope it was wonderful. I hope you got to feel what it's like to not judge yourself and to just, just watch. <laughs> it takes a while. It takes a while to really master those thoughts and, and observe. But once you do it, it's so worth it. Water is such a blessing. Such a blessing always. <laughs> so how are you feeling? How are you? How are you in this energy? We are in Sagittarius season at the moment. Things are... Whew. I feel... Yesterday we spoke a lot about ease, a life of ease, the importance of allowing self to allow self a life of ease. Quit trying to overwork and over just strenuate, strenuate is that a word? Over strenuate yourself. Because you're not here to do that. Just be a human, live, exist, and bring yourself the things that, that light you up that you enjoy. You're not here to suffer. You don't need to create the suffering for your life so that you can learn something. <laughs> Life's gonna do that with or without you. You don't need to do it to make sure that in between life doing those things to you and showing you lessons that you are giving yourself the good stuff and not waiting for the good stuff. You're getting it, you're going for it. You're saying, well, Life be life and sometimes, and I'm gonna life too. And that means I'm gonna go to the beach, I'm gonna go buy myself something, I'm gonna go into the forest. <laughs> What's something that lights you up? And that's something that's important to get to know and get to understand. That way, when you are in a down state or you are feeling like, oh, you know, I don't want to, um, I don't wanna do anything. I want to just sit here and watch TV. This is my day off. Hold up. No, absolutely not. That's not what you're doing. That's not what you're doing. You're going to your list of things that lights you up, the things that you love, the things that you enjoy, the things that your soul immediately goes, ah, this is why I'm here. Mm. You're going to go to that list. And you're going to choose something to do. One of those things. One of the workshops that I do, um, we do little, uh, little like pieces of paper and some kind of vessel. And we write all of the things down on the pieces of paper of what we enjoy to do, okay? It's like a hobby jar. So in the hobby jar, all the things that you love, that you love to do when you are feeling down, or you've been scrolling on your phone for hours and it's a beautiful ass day outside, what you're gonna do is go to that hobby jar and you're going to grab yourself up, um, a hobby out of there and do it, radically do it. Even if it says, ride your bike down the beach, get your butt in the car, go to the beach, 
rent a bike and do it. Do it, you can do it. You are the designer of your life, okay? And like I said, in between the tower moments and in between the moments that are gonna be just wild in life, at least you know that you, you did something for yourself. You did something to make sure that you are good, that you are taken care of, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs> My cards are upside down. All right, we are here with a three card message. Let's see. Interesting, interesting. How are you all feeling out there? I feel like I've come with this energy, this just power energy, and it seems like you all wanna really just take a rest. It seems like you all really just want to, to, to take a step back again. Oh my goodness. I wonder how this is going to unfold. Okay. So what we have first is the queen of swords. She is, they are the power of words, the strict to the point. This is what I know. This is what I want. Think Virgo energy a Virgo queen of just, Mm, I know what I'm saying and I know what I want just like I was saying just manifest and say your things out loud say the things that you need out loud uh, but but so that's the energy of of that card along with the ten of wands which is like what is it that you need to put down and what can you allow your community to help you with okay because you're carrying all this stuff and I know this is a message to me uh, you're carrying all this baggage, all this baggage, and for what, okay? You can ask for help. There's no need to carry all these wands, all this baggage. Have your, your animal, your your help animal taking on all that weight. Who can you call? Who can you have to help? Um, and then this four of swords energy of just relax, chill, and she's in her nest take a rest do not overdo yourself right now that is not the time okay now is not the time you are healing you are going to rejuvenate and when you come back you're that much stronger so so it's like you know what you need to release you know what it is that i'm talking about when i'm saying this thing and and when it comes to asking for help it's like you need to rest but these things need to be going on in the background while you rest. So who are you going to ask for help? Who are you going to ask for help with, okay? And I'd love to just get more on this message. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, you've been overworking yourself. You've been doing way too much for what? All this time, yeah, you just balance. You just need that balance. All this time you've just been doing everything i can do this i got it blah 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 it's like yeah <laughs> page of wands like put your creativity to to the um to the universe do it it's the action but at the same time keep that balance temperance has been coming up keep that balance in this life okay don't get carried away especially with with the sun going down at nine. Oh my gosh the higher fountain we pulled this yesterday that's just so wonderful we are these spiritual healers these i mean gosh it is sagittarius season it is a spiritual time maybe even traveling might be even traveling i for sure am we have the seven of pentacles here where we are just reaping that harvest what we have worked so hard for all year is coming it is coming but you remain a student to life you remain curious to life you remain wondering about life because love is afoot mm, that suitor is afoot with that queen of pentacles you don't lose yourself in this relationship this time you don't not this time you both get to thrive you both get to be who you be in the alchemy of you and the alchemy of the divine oh my goodness queen of wands flying over there talking about Woo! <laughs> she's like let me show you. <laughs> Parade. That's what she's saying. Get it now. Because <laughs> that's the outcome. The thing is, is like, 
you are the creator you're the magic you can create anything that is happening within your life within your soul within your vision and it's all yours and you're grounded with this queen of swords energy any energy within you that's questioning this is is something that needs to be let go heal through it sleep through it um, meditate through it. I don't mean sleep through it, but I mean like relax the mind about it. Um, meditate through it. Really think about it. Be the student of your life. I meant to do this so that you guys could see the cards. <laughs> That's why I sat here. But uh, la la la. So that is that wonderfulness. How do you resonate with that? It seems like you guys want to relax. Grandest rotations. It seems like you guys want to relax, but it's a great spurt of energy right now. Like there's this creative energy that's happening, but at the same time, you are wanting to take this this hermit and this, this chill time. Um, I'm an advocate of this season of action, of light. Capricorn season's coming up. And that energy is not to be wasted, even though we did just start Sagittarius season, but be mindful, okay, be mindful. You can activate a lot, a lot within this season. So loving yourself, stopping and meditating and just feeling into your body of what you need right now, rather than just plowing through life of what you think you need. Do it right this time, do it right this season and really just honor who you are honor your body honor the messages that come to you and just flow that way <laughs> it's so fun that life is so magical and it's just one of those things of like you just gotta let it sit back and let it let it happen because you can only do so much i feel that a lot of you guys are overworking af doing so much when you just don't need to it's ridiculous but we've been taught that way and that's the way that it's been these days but it's time to end that collectively we in the grind all right we align with what we align with we're not slaving out here not slaving out here okay burning to connect let's keep that one because that i feel that oh that's so cute oh my goodness Oh my gosh, this one's super cute too. <laughs> cute. It's a cute message though. Is because number one is burning to connect. Well, the first card is burning to connect. And the second one is universal love. Which is like everything that I'm always, always talking about. <sighs> it's just so magical. So burning to connect, I seek embrace and, oh no, I seek to embrace and connect with others as means of expanding my capacity to give and receive love. By loving and connecting openly, I receive the energy of others, which enhance my life. Through these connections, I learn new skills and gain new tools for my practice. That is so beautiful. And it's card number 50 and it's like five. It's like this change of you go into the community, you win in the community. Every single one of us, every one of us are meant to be with other souls. The other souls ignite our creativity. If you don't know your human design, oh my goodness, look it up. It's so important. It shows you exactly what your energy is within the other energies and you get to accept yourself and all of the others. So it's just beautiful. You are meant to thrive in a community and the energy is supporting that. So Sagittarius, that's cute. <laughs> I always say cute, it's so funny. Okay, so universal love. I receive love from all directions and trust that the love I seek is already on its way. My intention is to be open to love in all its forms. Love easily finds me and I make a good home for love within my body, mind, and spirit. Oh my goodness. So cute. 
it's just so beautiful i just know a lot of people have been uh, working on and just creating a home energy within their body so that they can energetically align to their partners i feel like i've been like crunching down to like fit into the box <laughs> people have been seeking their loves and the energy has really led us to just sit down and really itemize what it is that we want within our partners and a lot of you are getting it you took that time this summer during the venus retrograde to really get real with the shadows and i'm so excited for you because your honey buttons come in <laughs> And those who didn't, it's okay. Just always continue to work on your love shadows. If you're in a place of like, oh, my ex was horrible, blah, blah, blah. That's the first place to start. Okay. We wish everybody well on their journey. Everybody. <laughs> Universal love. Love them the way you would love yourself. From afar. But send love to everyone, especially those that you cannot stand. <laughs> I hope that was wonderful. I hope that you resonated a bit with that message and that you find so much light in pausing for yourself, loving yourself, allowing yourself to love because you are worthy. You are worthy to be loved every single day in every way. <laughs> and if you are forgetting that, then here's your reminder. Always commit to the task. The fun things like the sun's out. Give yourself things. Give yourself the lightness in between life's inevitable little lessons. Because they're coming. They're always coming. But in between give yourself what you need okay <laughs> it has been so wonderful thank you for joining i hope that you have the best day ever i am about to and yeah love yourself <laughs> bye <laughs> da, 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 da. wait what <laughs> Bye. <laughs>